What's up, college football fans, sports fans, and fans of my channel? Guys, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, all that good stuff. It really helps me out, helps my channel out, guys, helps me to grow. And also, all my returning subscribers, man, thank y'all so much, so much for coming back, watching all my videos from beginning to end. I love you guys, I love you. You all I got. You all I got, baby, you all I got. And, uh, man, breaking news, guys, breaking news. Trevor Lawrence has the freaking coronavirus, man. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? And thank y'all to my subscribers, man, uh, so much. Y'all definitely keep me up to date on what's going on in college football. And, you know, I really appreciate that, man, because I had no idea. I was just answering comments as usual. And all of a sudden, Terry Williams said, hey, Ben, um, Trevor got the coronavirus. And then um, my boy Jeremy Rollins, he said the same thing. So I said, you know what, man? Okay, let me go ahead and make a video on this. But anyway, guys, I'm uploading from my phone as well because Tamara, she's actually working on some videos, so she can't really get to me right now. But this is like breaking news, so I had to get this out. So anyway, guys, that's why I'm uploading from my phone. But guys, I can't believe Trevor Lawrence, man, <laughs> out of all people. Well, you know what? Nick Saban just got the coronavirus too about two weeks ago, and he's clear. He got cleared in three days. So Trevor Lawrence now has the coronavirus. But you know what? Before we Before we get into it, let me read to you some things that I, um, and what scene, and, um, I'm just going to read this to y'all real quick. Okay. Clemson QB Trevor Lawrence tests positive for COVID-19, and he will not play against Boston College this Saturday. Lawrence's positive test came on Wednesday, after he tested negative on Sunday. Clemson Athletic Director Dan, um, Radovich, Radovich, guys, I could be saying his name wrong, told CBS Sports. Lawrence will miss Saturday's game, and while his status for the next week's next week's showdown, man, I know next week's showdown with number four Notre Dame is unknown. It appears possible that he could be cleared, and um, according to the ACC guidelines, athletes who test positive must isolate for at least ten days, ten days, guys, from the onset of the symptoms slash positive test. Until Lawrence returns, the Tigers will likely turn the true freshman DJ. I'm not. I'm not gonna try to pronounce his last name. DJ, a five-star prospect from the 2020 recruiting class. DJ has completed 12 or 19 on um, passes for 102 yards in backup duties this year. So, guys, um, man, this is this is crazy, man. <laughs> this is crazy, man. Um, I, you just don't know, man. You just don't know, guys. I mean, you just never know. You just never know who's going to get it. And we got all these freaking resources, man. We got all this help. We got all these people, man, put in place, you know, to try to calm this stuff down, man. We constantly testing you, constantly isolating you, constantly wearing masks. I mean, every, you name it, man. You go to one of these big-time facilities, they got it. You know what I'm saying? They got it, guys. So I'm just trying to figure out, man. Um, well, you know what? I, I'm, not, I'm, no, I'm not trying to figure out how he get it because – COVID, if COVID-19 wants you, it don't matter what you do. He's going he gonna to get you, man. He or she, whatever you want to call it, it's going to get you. You know, so, guys, this is the year. This is the time we living in right now that COVID-19, man, is king, queen, whatever you want to say. So, we're just trying our best to make it through the season. You know what I'm saying? Like, we really are. We're trying our best to make it, man. And I'm really interested to see. Boston College, I ain't worried about Boston College, Okay. I mean, you know, you can start DJ, you can start whoever. I'm not worried about uh, y'all against Boston College. I want to see you about Notre Dame because I actually did a video on that um, about what, a couple months ago. And I, I just want to see him play against Notre Dame because, guys, they're going to need him for Notre Dame, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Notre Dame, they haven't been playing too too good this year, but they still leading the league in uh, what it is. Uh, I think they holding their opponents at least 10 points a game. Uh, in the ACC, and that's the best right now in the league in the ACC. So, guys, this is going to be an awesome game, man. So, I got, I want to see Trevor Lawrence play in that game. But we got to see if he's going to be going, um, you know what I'm saying, pass his test, you know, and get back um, negative and whatnot, man, because I don't know. I mean, Nick Saban was able to do it in three days. He was able to do it in three days and coach against Georgia, and we kicked their ass. So, you know, if Nick Saban can do it, then why not Trevor? But the thing is, ACC guidelines, you got to sit out 10 days. So Wednesday, that was yesterday, and you count next Wednesday, that'd be seven. Then Thursday, Friday, Saturday. The 10th day would be on Saturday. 
So will they let him play on that 10th day, which is Saturday? Or will they say, okay, you got to set out exactly 10 days? So that means you can't play with Notre Dame either. So will they have a shot? Will they have a shot of beating Notre Dame? Leave this in the comments, guys. Will Clemson have a shot of beating Notre Dame if they don't, if Trevor Lawrence doesn't play? Yes, that is that is the big question right now. That is the big question because I don't know. I don't know if they got a shot or not, man. I mean, to me, they got so many other pieces on the offense and defense. They still got my boy Travis Etienne. Defense is still rolling, you know, but you got to have somebody throw that ball. But you know what? This five-star get here, DJ, I know I can't say his last name. Forgive me, anybody out there that's saying it, Ben, why you can't say his last name, man? You try saying his last name. I'm sorry, but I look. Anyway, DJ, this five-star kid right here, man, he was competing side-by-side side with Bryce Young, man. And a lot of people even saying that he was probably better than Bryce Young. Of course, I didn't say that. But, you know, you had people saying he was better than you. had other people saying Bryce was better. Anyway, they was competing side-by-side, side, man, and they, you know what I'm saying, the leagues and all that stuff that quarterbacks go through. So this dude is legit. He is legit, man. I don't, but I don't know if he's ready for that kind of game. Boston College. Yes, he can get his foot, his feet wet with that. But as far as Notre Dame and whatnot, guys, like, come on, man, I'm, you know that's 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 big time, man. That's like the biggest game the Clemson's gonna play this year in ACC. They already played Miami, so the next biggest game is Notre Dame, which is next week. So I don't know if this kid gonna be ready for this if uh, Trevor Lawrence can't start, man. So that is the that's the big question, guys. I don't we don't know, we don't know if he's gonna be able to start, man. But if you ask me. I don't think they're going to leave Trevor Lawrence out of this game next week, man, because they know Clemson knows if they lose a game, it's over with because they conference, even though he has improved, it's still weak, guys. It's still weak, man. So Clemson is the is the leader, you know. And if you cut the head off, guys, then what do you have, man? Yeah, you got Notre Dame. Now, if Notre, if Notre Dame beats Clemson, Notre Dame is going to come out, man, and they're going to come out Victoria. They're going to come out of ACC. But that's the thing. I would really, I really want to see the best against, you know, the best that Clemson has to offer. I want to see them going against the best that Notre Dame has to offer. But the thing is, it's not my decision. Hell, it's not their decision either. It depends on Trevor Lawrence, man. Can he get cleared and whatnot? So, it remains to be seen, guys. It remains to be seen, man. But um, this is um, this is very, very interesting for this to happen right now. It just seems like COVID-19, it just attacks your ass like, come here, you know. It just like, it gets you, man, at a time that, you know, you really, you don't want it no way. But I'm just saying, when, when it gets you, it's like, okay, this week you good. But next week, you know, you got to play in the big game. So I'm going to get you now. And, hell, I'm going to get you and then the last day now. The last day, which is Saturday, you supposed to be, the 10th day, which you supposed to be cleared. I might just say, hey, you're not. <laughs> you don't play against the big game. It comes at the wrong time, man. You know, why can't you come? <sighs> man, you know what? You know, it's just me saying, why can't you? Because it, it's come where it gets ready. But it just it just seems like it, to me that it comes at a time, man, that you really don't need nothing to happen to you. You're already risking injury every freaking Saturday going out playing football. Now you got to uh, also look at the coronavirus coming at you, too. You know what I'm saying? You dodging linemen, tackles and shit everywhere. Then you can't, you can't dodge coronavirus, though. He'll get you in your sleep. He'll get you where you're going out to eat. He'll get you where you're going to the bathroom. Get you where you're cooking breakfast. It don't matter, man. Coronavirus attack you anywhere. So what can you do with that? You can't. You can't do nothing with the coronavirus, man. But uh, anyway, guys, um, shout out to my subscribers again, man. Uh, they really, I did not know Trevor Lawrence had the freaking coronavirus. So I had to do this quick video. But anyway, guys, I'm about to work on another video. But anyway, much love. Much love, guys. And uh, stay tuned. Stay blessed. I promise you, I'll be back with more videos. All right, peace.